Now, I can get the measurement of the temperature simply by uh, reading what's on the temperature probe. We're here in the graph uh, page. In the graph page, there is something that we can, we can do if we're recording our temperature. Right now, the temperature is showing up as 24.7. That seems pretty stable, but what if we wanted to get a good idea if that is a nice, steady temperature and get an uncertainty value for it, and an uncertainty value that's going to be maybe more precise or more, um, more representative of what the real uncertainty is than um, the methods you might normally use. Here's what we're going to do. We can, we're going to collect some data. Now, for some reason on this one, there is no digital um, play button on this particular data logger. Most data loggers will have a play button shown somewhere around here. This one doesn't. But what it does have, let me uh, see this here. What it does have is a play button right here. This is a physical play button. That play button gets the, um, gets the data logger to start recording and saving data. Rather than just showing us the temperature, it's going to uh, store the temperature. So I'm going to hit this play button right now to see if it looks like the temperature is steady. So play button. And you can see it's generating a graph right now, which looks pretty flat. fairly flat. Uh, looks like there's some variation in it, but uh, if you look carefully, you'll notice that the axis has now gone between 24.24 and 24.13. So I'm going to cap this here and see if I can change the temperature. No. Nope. Uh, graph. Graph. Graph options. Nah. I'm not 100% uh, sure how to change these axes, but you can see it's a very small distance between. So it looks like big changes, but it's actually not. All right, so this is fairly steady. And to show that it is fairly steady, I'm going to select the data, all of it, and I'm going to go to Analyze. And Analyze has an option called Statistics. It'll ask you what you want to do statistics on. I want to do it on temperature. Okay, and I get the values over here. The minimum temperature is 24.1. The maximum is 24.2. The mean is still 24.2. And the standard deviation is plus minus 0 0.01. All right. So that standard deviation we can use as a measurement of our uncertainty. Normally, I'd say take the difference between max and minimum uh, and divide that by 2 but the standard deviation helps to remove some of the data points that shouldn't actually affect our average and our uncertainties that are too far away from normal to count.